PSWC stands for Pharmaceutical Sciences World Congress, and it is the conference that will be held in May 2017 in Stockholm. And it is the meeting place for scientists uh, and other people who are involved in the discovery, the development, and the clinical usage of future novel medicines. Uh, what is new with the present conference, the new conference in Stockholm, well, we will do the same thing. We will still go into in-depth in the science, in the science tracks, to discuss the latest developments. But what is new is that we will also set up a, a, a program in which we will try to discuss uh, the agenda for future medicines research is new opportunity originating from systems biology to discover new drugs that combined with and the need to make drugs globally available to patients and the open innovation opportunities. So we need to come up with a kind of concerted action, a research agenda, and uh, the, the, the purpose of this meeting is to at least start a discussion. And, and we need to bring new medicines to society. And we believe that there is a unique opportunity at this moment. And with the development of systems biology, we get novel insights in mechanisms of disease, and that will enable us to develop novel therapeutic interventions, which are really disease-modifying and which may even cure the disease. Uh, envision what the importance of that might be, uh, instead of lifelong treatment of a drug which just suppresses symptoms, you could have one course of medication for a week or two weeks that would cure you of the disease and then you would not need the drugs anymore. So that is the perspective uh, that we envision. And we hope that by bringing and the excellent science, the new science, the the, the concepts of medicines for one world, eh? so all patients make it accessible, and the recent developments in open innovation constitute actually a new basis to, to, to go uh, and, and bring new patient drugs to the patients and to, to the population, basically. The Congress is basically on the pharmaceutical sciences. Uh, and uh, the way we have organized it this time is that we discuss the pharmaceutical sciences in five separate tracks. Uh, and the tracks range all the way from fundamental and translational sciences, drug targeting and drug delivery, uh, manufacturing and formulation, regulatory sciences and science-based practice. And, uh, the beauty of the conference is that we basically have five conferences where you can go with your respective discipline in depth into the research. But in parallel, you have, of course, the five different research teams there as well. And so uh, it is a combination of in depth uh, research in the scientific tracks but you also have the breadth of the full spectrum of the pharmaceutical sciences by having these five tracks in parallel to each other. Well, we are looking at a broad spectrum of participants, as you can imagine, and the discovery and the development of new medicines has lots of implications and, 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 and relations. And so we on one hand expect, of course, the pharmaceutical scientists, but we also expect people who are involved in the daily clinical practice. Uh, we uh, also expect participants who are involved in the regulatory approval of drugs. Uh, and so there will be a broad spectrum of uh, interested individuals with uh, different backgrounds. Well, I think it, it offers a, and it creates a unique opportunity. Uh, on one hand, you, you can meet your colleagues who are 
uh, interested in the same aspects of the research as you are and, and discuss in depth and uh, new opportunities, things that you have observed and have the in-depth scientific discussions. And on the other hand, you have the opportunity to position that within the whole field of the pharmaceutical sciences and the use of medicines. And there are, of course, numerous aspects. So, so you can position it and you can also cross-fertilize with people from different disciplines. And I could envision that, for example, if you are involved in translational research, that that also has implications for the regulatory approval because you might use your concepts from your and translational research to as the basis for drug approval or not. I mean, that's one of the questions to be answered. And so and there is on one hand the opportunity of in-depth science discussions and on the other hand the cross-fertilization with people who come from different disciplines in this field.